So I'm going to invite on stage Mr. Bruno Azizo. He's going to come up here and give us an example of end-to-end -end business intelligence capabilities. Bruno, come on up here. Hi, Stephen. Hi. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So I'm very excited to be showing you this end-to-end -end business intelligence demonstration today because it is based on a real-life example from one of our enterprise customers, which is using the latest versions of SQL Server, Performance Point Server, and SharePoint Server. OK, so just for clarity, so this isn't just a standard cook demo. This is actual real customer stuff. That's right. This, Change the name to protect the innocent. That's right. Okay. We have master names on the data, but everything you're going to look at today is software you have access to and you can use at your own company today. So let's face it, business intelligence is more than just reports and an analytics applications or just data. It is about providing anybody inside your enterprise with access to a great experience across content management, collaboration, unified communication, and business intelligence. In order to show you how all of this comes together, I'm going to assume the role of an operations manager. This is somebody who runs oil rigs in the south region of the United States. And I start my day here by looking at my SharePoint site, 100% thin, web-based application, and it's personalized for me. It is really a reflection of my day. You can see here on the top left, I've got access to my calendar items, keeping me up to date on the latest things that are going out throughout my day. At the bottom here, you can see my shared documents. Now, this is the list of unstructured information, my Word documents, my Excel documents, everything I need to have on hand here so I can make better decisions throughout my day. And on the bottom right, I have access to my key people, members of my team or my V team, and I can see how available they might be so that if I need to ask them a question, they are right here in, the, in this application. Now, I'm going to start my day by taking a look at production. And essentially, here, what I'm opening is a great scorecard and a great dashboard right here inside SharePoint. An application is very easy for me to interact, something that's familiar to me already. You can see I can simply get insight here by putting my pointer on top of metrics that might be off and finding out that oil sales are problematic. I also can see that my production of barrels is, is going south. I can further gain insight here by looking at the historical information on the top right. And you can see again how easy it is for me to find out more information without having to do much. Here I'm simply putting my mouse on the April month, which is this month, and I can see we're about 40% off of production. So I want to further investigate that. And what I'm going to do is simply now go over to my old production variance report and just click one time. When I do that, now you can see it's going one level deeper and it's giving me the specific oil rigs that are in trouble in this particular area. I can mouse over again and now see that Cimarron is one of the oil rigs that is causing an issue. Now, this is why Microsoft is so different. You see, I didn't need a PhD in analytics here to get any in, in, get insight from this application. Very easy for me to know what's going on. Further, now I can go and further analyze this, this information in a much more visual fashion if I wanted to. So what we're doing here, same data coming from SQL Server, now projected on a visual map. And you can see, this is a live map. And I can see all the information relevant to the business performance coming from my central uh, information layer inside my company. But as you know, finding information coming from outside your company, sometimes layering additional information, can get, give you great insight. Let me show you what that would look like. Well, I can simply now point temperature, and now I'm overlaying on top of this map information coming from my systems as well as information coming from external sources. So it gives me great insight very quickly on what my business is doing. Again, this is why Microsoft is so different, because I've been able to get access in a very simple, straightforward manner, but it's still very rich information. So I can mouse over the oil rigs that are doing well. You know, you tend to not worry about those. I want to focus down now to the Cimarron run. You can see I've got key metrics. I've got additional information about the geographical location. might be useful for me to know. I'm going to further my analysis now, go down the production trend. And you can see again, very easy for me to click through the different areas to gain insight. Now I'm looking at the four key metrics running particularly Cimarron. I can see my oil production. I can see my gas production. And I can see that this metric here, the whole pressure trend is going down. Now how do I know that this metric is actually uh, performing poorly? Well, the best way to do it might be to compare it to an oil rig that's doing well. So let's do that right here. I'm now going to go ahead and add what it should look like. And now you can see now the data is overlaying, and I can see clearly this whole pressure trend should be flat. So that, that would be down. bad. <laughs> that is terrible, terrible, and we need to work on it. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm an operations manager. I'm not an engineering expert, so I don't really know what causes this problem. 
To do that, I need now to connect with a person that might know a lot more about what's going on. And again, showing you how great it is to use SharePoint as a great platform for collaboration, I'm going to go ahead and ping Steve Masters and ask him what he thinks might be causing this problem. So we're asking him, we're telling him the whole pressure has got a problem and you can see he's entering his note here. You can see how well of a, of good a multitasker I, I am say you're hell of a without typer. even using my hands I'm able to type all these things. But essentially what he's telling me here is that sand is probably clogging my oil rigs. So he is at, he's advising me to go out and find a vendor to uh, go and, and, and go to the particular oil rig and, and solve that problem. Now, I don't know about you, but typically finding a vendor uh, you know, requires that you have access to external information, maybe ratings of those vendors and so forth. That seems to be a very complicated process. You have to go through procurement and so forth. Again, showing you how easy it is to SharePoint to shine this type of information. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on my contractor database. And you can see here, same visual you saw earlier, but now I have access to information coming from my contractor database. So I'm going to say the all rig that has a problem is a Cimarron one. I need to uh, work on equipment maintenance. I'm a little bit in a hurry because nobody likes uh, for an oil rig to be down. So I'm going to say find somebody fairly reliable within 250 miles and search for that. See what just happened on the map? Very easy for me to really take quick action on the information being displayed. In fact, you know, if you could find movie times on any website today, you could probably use this application yourself. And that's really why Microsoft is different. You know, we make this accessible to any information worker. It requires very little training for them to adopt it. I'm going to be aggressive here and say that I want somebody highly reliable. Now, great performance here. And gives me access to mission critical information here. Things that I need to act on right away. So, you know, I'm going to mouse over uh, each of these uh, vendors here. And I found that Fabricam, one of the vendors that I've worked with in the past, I've got additional information about what they specialize on, the actual score of their rating. I'm probably going to use them. Now, up to here, what I've been able to show you is how you can use Microsoft to find, search, use information throughout your day, but also connect with people to make better decisions. At this point, you can see I'm putting this oil rig on hold because this, while it's being repaired, this production is going to go down definitely. So I want to be uh, truthful to my management and let them know that my forecast on this oil rig is probably going to go down. Well, what's the best way for me to do that? Well, I go back to my portal here and you can see all the documents. One of them is my production plan, which I'm going to open here. Now, this looks very familiar to all of you. This is Excel 2007, an application that, as an operations manager, I didn't have to learn how to use. I use it on a daily basis. I trust this application. But the thing that's different about it is that it's powered by performance points from in the background. What does that mean? That means that the data, the business logic, the definitions, everything you're looking at here is centrally managed and secured. I don't have to know much about the numbers themselves to be able to work with them. So the power of Excel without the whole challenge of emailing spreadsheets all around, well integrated. Exactly. Great. And this is really what Performance Point Server is going to do for you, is the ability to give your, your information workers and anybody across your organization with the great applications they know today with a little extra power and allow you to manage uh, some of the issues you might have had in the past. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set Cimarron here to low. Again, very easy for me to do that. And I'm going to send these numbers up to Performance Point Server. What happens here? The numbers go up, they get uh, uh, calculated through a central model, and Performance Point Service now is giving me back the logic, the numbers, not only for Cimarron, but maybe for the other oil rigs, so we can look at the forecast all up and still make it. Now I'm happy with this forecast, so I'm going to go ahead and submit it. But before I close that, I want to be able to uh, work with my team here and let them know that I've made this change. So I'm going to add a new announcement here, and you can see here, again, my great ability to type very quickly. I'm going to save this. And now this is great because my team knows that I've made this change. But think about the scenarios for compliance here. This is all stored here. You can search it and find it. And you know what changes have been made. With that, I've been able to show you how you can use Microsoft in a very different way to find, search, use information, connect with the right people to make better decisions. Have a great rest of the conference. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Bruno.